Hey, Ann. Hey, how's it going? Well, I appreciate you joining me. And did you have anything that you guys are liking? So um, we love the the deck of playing cards. We don't we don't we haven't played any games with them. We just use them for conversation. It's a little bit lessened now that the kids are back in school full time. But when we were just home all day every day, we already knew everything that each other had done that day. And so to have something to talk about at the dinner table or in the car that was different was is amazing. <laughs> And the kids get really into it. I mean, they're six and nine and they, they will ask to, to do the cards. So yeah. that's, that's been great to see. Do they just shuffle through and find a question or how have they discovered? Usually we just pull the next one on top. I mean, yeah. for a while I was like, when, before I shuffled them, I'd have like one kid pick, you know, the suit and the other kid pick the number. And then we'd talk about that one. I think Others. we actually did a really good job of asking questions that just about anybody could answer. So yes, there are questions that are suitable for a six and a nine-year-old to answer, but there are also questions that a 14-year-old could answer or a 50-year-old could answer. It's, it's very well done in terms of being able to have a conversation around a specific question. Yeah. Usually we just could take one question around the whole table. Okay. So everybody answers the same question. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's good. We've, we've done some of the cards too. And sometimes we incorporate them in a game and sometimes we'll just pull them out at mealtime. So I see Caitlin's joining us. Hello, Caitlin. I was looking through the card deck and we already like the, the end of the day routine for us, bedtime routine includes some, some of those kind of questions that are already included in the, in the card deck. So I was, you know, looking when we got the, um, the preview pack, um, I was looking through the card deck and I was like, oh, these are some questions that, you know, get asked in our house already, kind of end of the day stuff, you know, and um, like, you know, we always, bedtime is always ending the day on what what's a good thing that happened today. You know, and so that's, we don't, we don't actually pull out the card deck maybe at a meal, but the questions that are there are definitely prompts for, for uh, conversations, especially before prayer, like bedtime prayers, and uh, and sitting around, you know, mealtime, because there's even fun ones. I mean, it's not all, you know, spiritual stuff. It's just get you talking kind mm -hmm. of stuff. Like the, and they're definitely at the stage where they all want to tell jokes all the time. And so mm -hmm. it's you know, what's what's the funniest joke you can think of? What's the, you know those kind of things. Oh so. yeah. That reminds me. I also have used them in our family zoom call that we do every week. So, yes. You know, cause I have little kids, my brother's kids are about the same age and there's five households on the call. And so having any sort of like structured conversation has been challenging sometimes. And so that's actually been a really good tool to shape that conversation. So next up on my list is to work through these with the kids. Um, we we are in the habit of doing, um, you know, devotions with them at, at bedtime and we're almost to the end of a book. So after that, I'm going to tackle these. And Chris and I have already done this together. And um, one of the things I really liked about this, kind of like the cards, is that it comes with discussion questions at the end of each devotion. And so that's been really nice to spark conversation. Um, which doesn't, isn't always a thing in a lot of devotions. Uh, any advice you'd give to an overwhelmed family that uh, sees a kit and goes, oh boy, something else I got to do. I recently taught a lesson about forming habits and yeah. it takes a long time to form a, a habit. Long so time. Pick one, pick one thing and, and what the right, thing for your family is going to depend on age stage and just what else you got going on um but even if it's that the the deck of cards makes it into your glove box in the car and you pull it out sometimes when you're driving places that's that's a step um yeah i was thinking uh at the, at the table to get your table or in the car in that little console as you're driving if you want to spend a lot of time in the car or just any other place where it would be a natural thing just to right. grab and talk. Right. Ask. And that's, I really think like that, that deck of cards is, 
such a fun little thing and they're sturdy and not gonna like rip easily speaking as the the with the young kids who like to rip everything that they get their hands on um they're not gonna like fall apart I mean they might get lost which is why I slapped magnets on mine but that it's it's you know it's easy enough to pull out one at you know one for a five minute talk and you start small and those little devotion books are so short and simple to just tackle one little conversation and again for the slightly older kids that um you have there's there's really simple little discussion questions there um that um you know get they ask the question and i think are gonna really prepare the parents or grandparents in you know the adults in the conversation to to help lead the conversation so it's not it they're 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 not setting you up for failure parents you know it's it's going to give you the things that you need to be able to answer the questions that come up in the conversation you know you're not being tossed out into the ocean and and of of faith conversations without any tools whatsoever yeah, just little prompts and little nudges to help encourage conversations yeah. around around faith, around important things. And like Anne said, just little little tiny additions to your week, which really help spiritual conversations happen and talk about important things o- o- along with all the other daily stuff. And really simple, simple little things that, it, that it's not even, it, it gets you thinking about faith outside of outside of church on Sunday morning and outside of Sunday school and, and outside of your house that it, I mean, that, like that, and I, I'm like you, Mark, I keep com- coming back to that deck of cards. It, it prompts you to talk about, you know, talk about your neighbors and how can you serve the people that you live close by and how can you serve, um, you know, the people that you're working with and in school with. And um, so it gets, it'll get the kids and everybody in your house to really start thinking, starting in your home and then working your way out from there, how are you going to take your faith and, and put it to work in your life? Um, and I think that's a really powerful thing. There's also stuff in there that you can do for yourself that will help you and encourage you in your Christian walk. And it's fine to start there too. So um, there's a lot of tools there. There's a lot of things that you can use and pick one. <laughs> That's and like you said, that, that devotional, um, the, the 30 days devotional, uh, is a really great, is a really great one. And it's okay to save some stuff in that kit for later. Just, uh, yeah, keep, exactly. keep it together, keep it in an important spot. And, uh, you know, w- when you're ready for the next thing, uh, you can pull it out too. Well, thank you so much for, uh, uh, a little bit of your time and uh, I hope things continue to go well.